We got joining so us guys. right now, Darius Kasparaitis. Thank you for joining us, Darius. Thank you Appreciate for joining it. us. Thank you for having me. So before we get into the thick of things here, um, you know, have obviously since your playing days ended a while ago, have you been involved in the game? Do you still play? Do you coach, or what's your involvement in, in you know hockey in general at this point? Oh, you know, I play uh, maybe twice a week uh, for fun, and I help uh, help out the University of Miami uh, coaching, uh, you know, uh, team uh, a little bit, but it's not really uh, you know high level job. So um, <laughs> it's, I don't even know what division they're playing actually. <laughs> That's, that's great. Um, so we'll start with, you know, start with the Islanders. You, you play for both New York teams. Um, when you look back at your days with the Islanders, what, what's, you know, I guess your, your best memory? Was, was it the, nine, the run in 93 or is it something else? What do you really remember about playing here on the island? Well, I think, uh, of course, playoffs uh, against Pittsburgh Penguins. But I think the big, uh, best memory I had is the Islander hitting a light post behind, uh, uh, next to the Coliseum with my BMW. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god <laughs> that's great that's awesome. right, right, before, uh, right before the game actually right? <laughs> oh, that's the worst time for that to happen too because you, now you gotta go in you're all frazzled before your game and you're thinking oh geez now I gotta get this thing fixed yeah. oh. that's the game actually that's the game I uh, abused Marilyn you I was very uh, irritated with my driving so I, I could <laughs> I took all. I know, so I who, took all my frustration. So, so who do you think was more irritated, you about your driving, or Mario Lemieux about having to play against you in that game? Because you really, really <laughs> got under his skin. Oh, you know, what? I don't think I really uh, figured out that part when I was young. You know, I was just playing very hard, and I didn't really care about uh, you know any uh, you know star players on the opposite team. And I think Mario got probably irritated because. Uh, I don't think he knew who I was, and uh, maybe it was you know sometimes sometimes we ex you know expect to beat the team, and uh, the things not going away, you get frustrated. Yeah, Darius, you were one of the great agitators of the '90s. Uh, who was one of your favorite targets that you just like to just get under their skin and just annoy them? Well, you know, um, obviously, you know uh, when I played for the Islanders, it was Mark Messier, and uh, when I you know when I got traded. When I got traded to Pittsburgh, it was Eric Lindros, you know. So, uh, uh, you know, uh, I, I picked my, <laughs> I picked my uh, players uh, all the time. But I, you know, the battles I had with uh, Rangers and uh, then with uh, Pittsburgh against Flyers, uh, you know, I think that's that's one of the you know games you play hard all the time. Now, was there? Did you notice any difference? Because uh, obviously, the Rangers and Islanders are a big rivalry. As a player, did you notice any difference from when you were on the Islander side of it and the Rangers side of it? Well, you know, actually, it's a big difference. I think when you play for the uh, Islanders, uh, the Ranger games, it's it's so huge. I think that that like even when I came to the league, I realized how in the guys, how guys, you know, even before the game, guys get ready and uh, you know the fans and everything. But I think when you play for the Rangers, uh, I think a lot of teams don't like Rangers. You know, you play Devils, you play Flyers, you play. Uh, Pittsburgh, you know. So when I play for the Rangers, I don't think it was that big of a deal playing against Islanders when I played there, you know, maybe because we're too, uh, you know, not good enough uh, at that time. But I think uh, uh, when you play for the smaller market teams and you play big market teams, I think you get pumped up. Even when I play in Pittsburgh, you know, we hated the Rangers, you know. Uh, <laughs> and, and, you know, anytime they, anytime they came in town, you know, everybody wanted to beat them, you know. So I think when you play for the Rangers and you play against other teams, it, it's always... I think it's always a big game for uh, as a ranger. Yeah, Darius, I know that you, for a bit, like after the uh, the 0506 lockout, you were one of the leaders in the uh, the locker room, and you also got to take charge of the music in the locker room for a little bit there. And I, I've got to ask this question because I don't think I've ever heard you explain this. But how exactly did you come across that the Shingis Khan song for Peter Pruka? Bruka, uh, <laughs> I think that's uh, I think it's like a '80s uh, Euro trash music, and uh, <laughs> you know uh, when, when I play when I when I was with the Rangers, you know we didn't have iPads and iPhones. You know I have to make every uh, CD before a game. You know I have to burn it and put it uh, you know in a in a CD player. So I think uh, 
Jason Strudwick had a first iPod on the team, you know, and that's why I think it's, everything changed after. But before that, I used to make CDs before. Even when I played in Pittsburgh, I was a DJ. So uh, I did something good in NHL. <laughs> Darius, you were always one of the more physical players in the NHL. You probably had one of the smoothest hip checks that I've ever yeah, had the, the pleasure of watching for years. Absolutely. You ever wonder where the physicality is just getting out of the league and, if, and is there a way of getting it back in? I think it comes from uh, youth hockey. Uh, I was recently in Russia, and uh, Russia, basically in Russia, they change rules completely. You can't basically hit until you are, I don't know, like 19, and before even you uh, have to hit somebody, you have to play the puck first. So it's it's totally confusing all the players. You know, I, I received some videos from kids in uh, all over the world, and they show me nice clean hits, but they get uh, game misconducts because they don't. Uh, trying to play the puck, they try to play the body, which is totally opposite uh, to what I did. You know, usually as a defenseman, you always want to play the body first and then then take the puck. And uh, I think that's what it is. You know, youth is uh, youth leagues are different now, less hitting. And I think when you when you play like that way, and they, and then they expect you to start hitting at age twenty, it's very hard to change it. Larry, so one of my um, favorite moments as as an Islander fan was that that ninety three series, but. It's often remembered against the Capitals. There was the Pierre Turgeon hit on – sorry, Dale Hunter hit, hit on Pierre Turgeon. Um, in my opinion, it's still one of the dirtiest plays I, I've seen. But as a member and as his teammate and being in that game, like what was everyone's reaction? Like because it was so blatantly obvious. Like how much did that really just infuriate you guys? I remember Rich Pilon just flying in there and all mayhem, you know, kind of busted out. But what were your thoughts on that when it happened? Oh, you know, uh, I was I was shocked as everybody, everyone on the team, you know, and uh, you know, I don't think the uh, you know Hunter uh, was Hunt, Dale Hunter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think he meant to you know injure him. I think he was just frustrated that uh, you know they're losing the game, and uh, I think uh, I don't think you know sometimes uh, frustration just takes over you and you lose control. I think. Uh, he didn't really mean to mean uh, to hurt him, you know what I'm saying? But it happens, and uh, of course, you know everybody tried to get him back, and uh, he got suspended uh, for like one, well, like ten games. <laughs> right now, would be probably two years suspension. Uh, it's it's just uh, you know it happens. The hockey game is very even right now. You know, I play for like uh, lunch hockey, you know, and uh, I still get frustrated, and uh, you do stupid things when you lose, you know. <laughs> Darius, did you ever like have maybe like a certain favorite defense partner or somebody that you felt that you always played very well with? Well, I think you know, with uh, one of my favorite partners uh, I played with, I think it was Ian Moran in Pittsburgh. Uh, he was a you know a right shot defenseman, and uh, he talked a lot uh, during the game. You know, he was very vocal, and he helped me a lot. You know. Uh, and I think we played good together. So I, I, I always remember I had my one of the best years in Pittsburgh playing with him as a partner. And there's moving to the current day hockey uh, news around the league. And you know you're located in Florida. What, what's the feel around the Maple? Uh, sorry, the Maple, the, the the Panthers right now. They're undefeated. They look like they're going to be you know a contender in my opinion. Um, is there like real excitement around them right now? Mm. I think so. Uh, you know, uh, people get uh, more excited uh, close to playoffs in Florida, but uh, I feel like, you know, Panthers have a great start of the season. Uh, and I think they, they, they took a while to build this team. And uh, I think everything is uh, in place right now. As long as they stay healthy, they have a pretty good chance uh, competing for the Stanley Cup this year. But, you know, it's Florida. Uh, hockey in Florida, sometimes it's, it's very hard to imagine. And a lot of people... Uh, don't follow as much as they follow Miami Heat, for example. So, uh, uh, you know, you can still buy tickets probably on StubHub for eleven dollars. So, uh, that's <laughs> <a lot. laughs> you know? oh, Darius, I do have to tell you, um, my my one of my best friends growing up, Russ. Uh, you were his favorite player, and when you signed with the Rangers, he he called me out crying, and <laughs> being a huge Ranger fan, I was I was in disbelief. I was like, wait, what happened? Uh, with me, with the Rangers? Yeah. Oh, no, no, yeah, no. I didn't know what happened, but, yeah, I found out you signed with the Rangers. Turned on ESPN. No, but was it. they gave me the most money. Where, uh, you know, I, I was telling my agent, <laughs> when the Rangers gave me uh, in my contract, I told my agent it was too much money. You know, I, I don't think I deserved that much money. But, <laughs> uh, you know, that was, uh, that was the time, you know, uh, 
you play hard for 10 years and then you make money. You know, now it's different. You play hard for one year and then you make a lot of money. And then you basically. Yeah. I th I think the Anthony? He's, he's muted. Uh, yeah, I think Darius is muted. No, I'm, I'm good, yeah? You hear oh, me? yeah, you're good. Yeah, yeah, now the current the current day Rangers and Islanders. Um, what do you, do you think both teams can make the playoffs this year? Um, yeah, I think Rangers have a you know good coaching staff, and the Islanders have a good coaching staff. I think they are they they uh, both teams are uh, very uh, you know young, and uh, I think they both have a good chance of making playoffs. Now, Des, before before we let you go, I have a funny story. One of your teammates in '93 was Benoit Hogue. About um. About 12 years ago, um, oh, my men's league team here on Long Island, uh, we were playing, we hit the ice, and then all my teammates were like, oh, that's Benoit Hogue on the ice. And the guy the guy was still insane, even at that point. So what do you uh, what do you remember him, about him, and, you know, what made him such a good player? Because even at, at that point, what, in his 40s, he, he was still really good against us. He killed us. I, I still, uh, I still, hang, you know, I stay in touch with Benny. I think uh, Benny made me uh, feel very comfortable in the locker room because he was, a th I think he was the first ugliest guy in the locker room. And, you know, he, <laughs> and... <laughs> And that's why, you know, I have a big nose right now because I had so many uh, probably injuries with my nose. But uh, Benny had a big nose right from the beginning. And his nickname was Benny Nose. So, uh, <laughs> but it was actually, Benny was a great guy. When I came as a rookie, you know, it was very, uh, he had a good sense of humor. And uh, it was, uh, it made, made me feel comfortable. And, uh, you know, I still talk to him. Every time I see him, you know, we still uh, crack the jokes uh, about something, you know. And, uh, uh, and, and Benny was a great player, you know. Yeah, he, he played defense in this game, and you could tell he wasn't trying, but there were a couple of times he took a head of steam up the ice and just let a wrist shot go, and it beat my buddy in net. And we were like, yeah, we really about that. He, he, he let the shot go from, like, maybe the blue line, and our goalie didn't even, like, he didn't even react to it. It was just Yeah, when Benny plays, he has the visor, and he flips it upside down. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, Benny, uh, yeah, Benny had a great shot. So you guys uh, uh, probably are lucky to have him to play with you. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, is he still playing? Do you know? Who oh, him? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, of course he plays. I think he still skates in Long Island. I think he coaches the kids and I think he still skates. Yeah, awesome. All right, well, Darius, say this. Thanks for your time. You you were you were really great. You got a oh, yeah, it was fantastic having you. Thank you for joining us. All right. Thank you guys. Thanks, guys. Thank you, Darius. Thank you. Bye. Bye. That's probably gonna go down as one of our funniest interviews. That that was, oh my god. Yeah, between uh, between him and Marty, I, I just I don't know who was funnier. Uh, Marty, Marty, Marty's Marty's fantastic with that. Oh. By the way, everybody, uh, if you didn't like it, already like this 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 broadcast or this video. The shortened version as well is going to be coming out soon. Uh, don't forget, like, share, and subscribe. Please, and we got that, a lot more coming was, to you. We still got to finish was, with uh, the Islanders. Yeah, so we'll wrap that up. But that that was incredible. I mean, the the, the, hit, the hitting the light the light post and the, the first that was just <laughs> yeah. Oh the, the, I did not expect he was gonna say yeah that. yeah. That and then awesome. that's amazing. If you like that video, we got a lot more. So check out any of these that are right over here. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hmm, your ideas are intriguing to me, and I wish to subscribe to your newsletter.